Communist Student Group, the organization that called for this occupation. <laughs> Throughout this struggle, we've been using the word militant a lot, talking about worker militants, student militants, and the necessity of militancy in this struggle between the workers and the boss. And so I want to talk a little bit about what it means to be militant. To be militant means to draw a hard line of demarcation between us and the enemy, to determine who are our friends and who are our enemies. The understanding that there are two camps, the camp of the revolution and the camp of counter-revolution. It means to understand that these workers have nothing in common with the administration or the board of trustees made up of CEOs, hedge fund managers, bankers, and capitalists. To understand that there can be no class compromise between the two. That there is no negotiating. That we will impose our demands on them. Yeah. Also included in the camp of the enemy are those who try to compromise with them. Those who provide misleadership to the workers who accept the enemy's impositions on us. It also includes anybody who takes a hard stance against the workers. People who put their selfish, personal self-interest before those of working class people who are about to lose their pensions, their health care, and their jobs. We understand that in order to win this fight, we must militantly impose our demands on the enemy. Mr. President, we have, I mean, you must think that we're idiots. I don't work in the same office as he do. So, he can stay with his idiots. I'm far from that. <laughs> over here to the cafeteria. Oh, we're gonna give you a job back. We're gonna give you a union. Next day we go to a meeting. Oh, we'll give you a job back. No benefits. We gotta wait a year for benefits. We have the right to run the cafeteria the way we see fit. to negotiate a contract, then you're going to get rid of the ones that you always wanted to get rid of from the beginning. So to me, it don't make no sense. If you're going to lie, lie to, lie to save your life. Don't lie just to be a liar. And he's a straight liar.
issued a statement via email to the entire New School community guaranteeing that some of the workers' demands would be met. He also made a visit to the occupation with the same message. The very next day, workers and their union reps had a meeting with Van Zandt where he systematically walked back on every single demand. <laughs> Administration, administration tells